Mr. Zuckerberg, thanks so much for being here and, and uh, enduring uh, the many questions today. I think it's important you're here because uh, social, your social media platform happens to be the ubiquitous social media platform, and uh, there's not a senator that uh, you heard from today that isn't on Facebook, that doesn't communicate with our constituents through Facebook. In a sense, we have to be on it. And um, so I think it's especially important uh, that you're here, not just for Facebook, but uh, really for our country and, and uh, beyond. The threshold question that, that continues to emerge here today is, uh, what are the reasonable expectations of privacy that uh, users ought to have? And um, I'll tell you, my neighbors are unsatisfied by an answer to that question that involves, uh, you know, take a look at the user agreement. And um, I, I think there's been a fair amount of discussion here about whether or not people actually read that user agreement. I would encourage you to uh, uh, you know, survey that, get all the information you can with respect to that, and uh, make, sure that, uh, uh, make sure that user agreement is, is easy to understand and streamlined and, and so forth. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg, earlier in today's hearing, uh, you drew a distinction that I thought was um, interesting. It caught my attention. It was a distinction between consumer expectation of privacy, depending upon whether they were on an ISP, or the pipes of the internet as you characterized it, or on an edge platform like Facebook. I find this distinction uh, somewhat unsatisfying because uh, most folks who use the internet uh, just think of it as one place, if you will. Uh, they think of it as the internet as opposed to uh, various places requiring uh, different degrees of privacy. Um, could, you, could you speak to this issue and indicate whether you'd support a comprehensive privacy policy that applies in the same manner uh, to all entities across the entire net internet ecosystem? Senator, sure. I think that people's expectations of how they use these different systems are different. Some thing, some apps are very lightweight, and as are, and, and you can fully encrypt the data going across them in a way that the app developer or the the pipes in the ISP case um, you probably shouldn't be able to see any of the content. And I, I think you you probably should have a full expectation that no one is going to be introspecting or looking at that content. Give me other some quick services. examples, if you would, kindly, sir. Sure. Well, when data is going over the Verizon network, I think it would be good for that to be as encrypted as possible and s such that Verizon um, wouldn't look at it. Right? I think that that's what people expect, and I don't know that being able to look at the data is required to, uh, to deliver their service. That's how WhatsApp works, too. So that's an app. Um, it's a very lightweight app. It doesn't require us to know a lot of information about you. Uh, so we can offer that with full encryption, and, and therefore we're not looking, we, we don't see the content. For a service like Facebook or Instagram, where you're sharing photos and then they, people want to access them from lots of different places, people kind of want to store that in a central place, so that way they can go access it from, from lots of different devices. In order to do that, uh, we need to have an understanding of what that content is. So I think the, uh, the expectations of of what Facebook will have knowledge of versus what an ISP will have knowledge of are just different. I think that needs to be clearly communicated uh, to your users, and, and uh, uh, we'll leave it at that, that those, those uh, different uh, levels of privacy that uh, the user uh, can ex expect to enjoy when they're on your platform. I'd like to uh, sort of take a different tack to internet <coughs> privacy policy with you, sir. Um, might we create stronger privacy rights for consumers, either through creating a stronger general property right regime online, uh, say a new law that states unequivocally, something that you said before, that users own their online data, uh, or through stronger affirmative opt-in requirements on platforms like yours? Now, if we were to do that, would you need to retool your model? if we were to adopt one of those two approaches. Senator, can you repeat what, what the approaches are again? Yeah, so one is to uh, create a stronger uh, property right uh, for the individual online through a law that states unequivocally users okay. own their data. The other one is a stronger affirmative opt-in requirement uh, to be a user on Facebook. Would you have to fundamentally change the Facebook architecture to accommodate those policies? 
Senator, those policies and the principles that you articulated are generally how we view our service already. So depending on the details of what what you your the proposal actually ends up being, and the details do just matter a huge amount here, um, it's not clear that it would be a fundamental shift. But the details really matter. And if this is something you're considering or working on, uh, we would love to follow up with you on this because this is very important to get right. I'd love to work with you. Um, I'm out of time. Thank you. Oh.